have some amazing creations done by our artists as we cruise into the month of May. You can see it on our lineup. <music> From this female artist who always brings shock factor to the hall anytime it's showtime. To this other male artist, popularly called Mr. Danfo, dazzling his audience in another part of the commercial city of Lagos. Hello and a warm welcome to the program. I'm Melinda Akinlami. You can tell that we have something exciting lined up for you on the show. But let's hear from our wordsmith and we'll be right back with the details. Our wordsmith for this week is titled Rage by Freddie O.D. There is a rage that lurks deep within every one of us. It is unquenchable. Although many try to ignore its effect, its existence, it is unquestionable. Many things ignite it. Life, challenges, circumstances, and even other people. Although it is undesirable, like a wild horse, it seems uncontrollable. It kicks time and time again. It is unbearable. We are humans and rage is only natural. Harnessing it and focusing it the right way makes you unbeatable. Thanks, Freddie, for giving us those words. Now to our first feature. Contemporary artist Kwejo Alatiche always leaves jaws dropping anytime she exhibits, and her latest solo show at the Core Gallery in Lagos did not disappoint. Alafia. A Yoruba word which means peace is what contemporary artist Pedro Alatiche is giving her audience who are in the Co Gallery to see her latest body of work, life-sized, colorful and bold, all addressing current realities in this creative wonderland. recent happenings and current realities um, in our world today, um, this, this exhibition Alafia dialogues with the concept of wellness and freedom. Um, the artists invite people into this world of fantasy where we all as children can imagine a world free um, of danger, of violence and um, she, you know, Alafia is a Yoruba word um, that means peace or wellness. And so this is Kweju Alatiche's prayer and wishes for everyone who comes here today to view the exhibition. them to come here and just be happy you know former me I'll be political and very ready to fight but these days I'm just chilled and just wishing people well we've all been through a hell lot of um, difficulties in the past couple of years we all have um, experienced um, some kind of hardship, whether it's with the health or economically, financially, with the lockdown and all, and it's time to heal. So again, this is just wishing everyone a lafia.
it's become her signature, installations, which take up a lot of space in the gallery. Working with wrought iron, chain and other material to achieve an intriguing storyline, a world free of rancor, as she encourages everyone to learn from the innocence of children while advocating for the rights of girls. Weju is a very dynamic um, artist. She works through various um, medium, experimenting with materials, and um, she's a very strong and bold woman whose work is, um, in a way, political. She's very vocal about work, um, addressing social and political issues in, you know, in our country. Every artist tells a story according to how they experience life. Uh, and these are my own experiences. And essentially it's just to say, hello, hi, hope you're doing okay. I wish you well. Well, I think it really showcases her sculptures, um, large sculptural pieces, women, um, which is what we're so excited about because we love featuring female artists. That's, uh, we're a female-run gallery and um, it was quite amazing uh, to see the works that she had, the body works that she had, and we're so excited to have her here again. Pedro Alatishi is an interdisciplinary artist, architect and writer who always creates works of art that speak to socio-cultural issues. Every time I attend her exhibitions, you can tell there's a story behind each of her works, right? And um, for me, that already tells you, I mean, she's either talking about Nigeria, uh, talking about uh, child um, advocacy, or talking about the girl child, you know. Uh, I mean, and the minute you look at one, any of her artworks, you can almost tell what the story is about and you can relate to, to it. A phenomenally gifted artist. Yeah? But he's a genius, you know. And what she does that really excites me, yeah, is she produces these works of enchantment, yeah, works that take you into a, almost another world, you know, the world of childhood, yeah, the world of impossibilities. For example, you know, that guy's spirit is lighter than the balloons, and he's, you know, the balloons are keeping him down, you know. And, and the, these young ladies are in fields of fantasy. So, you know, this, this is a kind of enchantment eh, that's going to outlive this time. right from when she was in secondary school. She has always been extremely imaginative. There was a time she told me, Mommy, I wish you can open my brain and see what is inside. Well, I said, if I open it, I can only see mucus. I will not see what is there, <laughs> except you translate it. So she has always been a very talented girl. This is just one of hundreds that she has created. Only one creation is always different from the other creation. She, you don't find her making two of a type. And each of the creations has only been unique, extraordinary. Piju is a genius. I think that's, that's one word I can use to describe, describe her. Yeah, amazing. I mean, her vision is like out of this world. The Co Gallery wants art lovers to leave their worries behind once they step into this space and just enjoy the beauty around them. We know a lot of things is, you know, going on in the world today, um, the pandemic, the war, um, you know, people going through a lot here and there, and we just want people to take a moment from, you know, the happenings around them and um, come into this space and feel safe, you know, it's like a safe space for people. We want them to be able to 
put aside all you know all the all, all the things going on in the world and as a child again like I said um, come into a world of fantasy just see themselves again as children with you know um, little care about what is going on around the world yeah it's just a moment of um, reflecting on the, the other good things that is going on in our lives. Is there wellness without freedom? That's the question Pedro Latiche wants the audience to ponder even after they leave this exhibition of paintings and sculptural pieces. Need I say more? Such amazing and massive works of art there. Well done, Pedro. And we have some artists on our social media platforms gradually showing so much potential. And these are the works of art you sent in this week. We begin the works of art segment with this work done by a 15 year old. He's called Francis Barili. It's done with charcoal on paper and he is celebrating the popular musician Two-Face. He calls it Tupapa. Then Idumota Market is captured by Atonda Kolade, done with acrylic on canvas. Nurturing in Nature is another acrylic on canvas work, but this time is by Innocent Tikeze. Dami Lola is a charcoal and acrylic on FBB paper done by Charles Louis Azoko. Then if fair one is done by Adeyemi Julius with oil on canvas. And another artist who is fascinated with hip hop artists to face is Ademola Adelaja with this oil on canvas painting called To Face Idibia. Up Nigeria is how Dalong Peter has captured this work in scrap metal. Then Agony of a Betrayed Heart is by Ademola Ajayi, done with mixed media. Then Give Me Hope, the second in the series, is a digital painting done by Yo Aji. Then Faith Michael is telling us to be blissful with this acrylic on canvas work. And that concludes the works of art you sent in this week. We appreciate you for always sending them in and encourage you to put your best foot forward, always. The man dies in all who keeps silent in the face of tyranny. of public figures in Lagos is a solo exhibition by an artist who goes by his alias, Mr. Danfo, at the Alliance Francais in Lagos. A 
it's not your usual type of painting. Geometric lines and symbols is what Sedoa Linus Emieha has used to tell his story about a boisterous commercial city with about 30 portraits of public figures in Lagos. I know it has struck so many people um, not the way we expected. You know, when I I said the exhibition is portraits of public figures in Lagos, so many people thought they were coming or it's going to be an exhibition of like the real portraits we learned in art school, like painting figures of people. But I think the essence of portrait is meant for us to capture the the figure we are trying to depict and the characteristics that make such figures. So when I say portraits of public figures in Lagos, I'm actually trying to capture the spirits behind the portraits of those figures. Linus, the artist, is someone I've known for more than 12 years. I've worked with him right from when he was in school. And uh, I know that uh, he has this knack for uh, uniqueness in his creativity. And this is what has played out in the exhibition we're seeing today. He has employed the principle of minimalism to be able to express his ideas. Um, and it's a, it's a fresh approach to art. And that's why most of the works are looking absolutely different. And uh, I must commend him for coming out with these thoughts coming out with this idea and concept of presenting art in a totally different, uh, in a new way. Abstract images capture the hustle and bustle of Lagos life from the markets, transportation, nightlife and more that makes it a place many love to stay and others don't. When we say Agbero, we all in Lagos knows who an Agbero is. If I say market woman, you know who a market woman is or a truck pusher. On the other way around, these people are part of our everyday life, like we see them as common people or commoners, but they, they make the life of the people quite interesting. You know, sometimes I imagine like, an, um, for instance, a downfall driver who drives the road every day, he runs several trips and his service is being rendered to a huge number of people. You know, it's more or less like really a public figure because he's, he's seeing people and people are seeing him. We may not be paying attention to them because we really don't see the importance of them in our society. but. That is the more reason why I, I want to highlight or emphasize the need for us to also recognize the common people in our lives and in our society. We have selected uh, Mr. Zenfu's work for this exhibition out of our usual open calls for the year at Alliance Française Lagos Mike Aringa Center. And he's the first artist to be shown in this space out of this open call. So we're very uh, happy to have him. Uh, his paintings are minimalistic, uh, that's why we liked about it, because it's quite rare to represent Lagos in a very uh, pure and sim sim simple way. Uh, although his work puts, he puts a lot of work in his paintings, so it's just a mirage that is that simple to do, uh, which is also very nice about art. You think you can do it, but uh, it takes a little bit of practice, of course. The good, the bad, and ugly have been revealed in this artist's constructed lines, which shows the trappings of the city and what makes it tick. The whole idea of somebody taking upon the transport fare and the Lagosian's life in Lagos is quite interesting. You know, if you look at the work, they look simple, but they are thought-provoking because each work means a lot to Lagosians. Some, some, some other people might not actually know what the work is all about, but if you get to the idea of, of what is behind each work, you get to appreciate what the artist is trying to talk about. Lagos Danfo 
has played a huge role in my practice because I, looking at the works holistically, you will find out that there are more yellows and black, which I, I would say I drew from the downfall design, but I've been able to expand it. And sometimes you see colors that you could relate to traffic light, and it, it's symbolic to our urban cultural space, that's the Lagos urban cultural space, where we have all of these things happening. And I really wanted to use a color that will reflect my own society, and um, at this point in time when we are living, um, I think I am trying to show us the culture of today, that is the culture of our urban landscape, which is Lagos. Mr. Dunfer uses very uh, straight lines and two to three colors to represent Lagos in his paintings, mostly uh, what he named in the title Public Figures of Lagos. Uh, who refers as uh, the KK driver, the Okada man, uh, the volcanizer, the market woman. Uh, so it's a tribute, this exhibition is a tribute to all those people we encounter on a day-to-day basis uh, in our lives. And Mr. Dunfo himself has a, you know, a story behind it. He's, he's been paying his tuition fee with a little bit of this work. He has a mother also who has been working as a market woman. So I really understand why he wanted to pay tribute to them in an organized way maybe, that maybe also give a little bit of peace of mind to this person who are struggling every day to Lagos. This solo exhibition of Linus's recent works has some images which he created last year to depict his interpretation of a city he lives in and loves, Lagos. Another unique kind of show there. And we have more, but that will be on the next episode of Art House. On the next episode of Art House. A solo exhibition by Adeola Balogu at Signature Beyond Gallery in Lagos, titled Transmogrification. Uh, what is transmogrification? Uh, it's about change. And what change are we talking about? It's about the change that has been brought upon us. In the ancient city of Badagri, we see the first coconut art, crafts and design exhibition. We are using this exhibition to tell the world that instead of throwing your coconut shells anywhere or anyhow, why don't you turn it to a wet making materials? We encourage you to keep liking, sharing, and viewing our page so more people can enjoy the ever bubbly and ingenious art scene in the country. Your art house experience doesn't have to end when the show is not on television. Interact with us on our various social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on our website or YouTube page. Join our very interactive Facebook page by joining the group on Art House on Channels. We're everywhere. That's the program today. Thank you so much for always being great company. And let's do this again next time. But always remember that you can go to our various social media platforms. View, like and share so more people can enjoy the beauty of the arts. I'm Melinda Akinwami. Do stay safe and keep being creative.